We go to Latin America now. The Colombian government and the rebel FARC guerrillas have resumed peace negotiations in Cuba to discuss compensation for the victims of the armed conflict and to continue to plan the removal of landmines. The, negotiate, the negotiators reconvened in a climate of mutual distrust, really, following the death of 11 soldiers two weeks ago. They died in a guerrilla ambush in Coca, Colombia. The FARC have demanded that the state make a necessary recognition of their responsibility in the political violence in Colombia. The state of Colombia is an offender state, which, despite sitting at the negotiation table for more than two years in order to end a long-standing social, political and armed conflict, continues failing to respect its commitments. And our correspondent in Colombia, Natalia Margarita, brings us more now on the ongoing peace talks. Peace talks between the Colombian government and the FARC rebels have resumed in Havana, Cuba. For more than two years, Colombia has been undergoing a peace process that now enters its 36th negotiation round, which is expected to extend until the 8th of May. Following a recent military clash that left 11 soldiers and a guerrilla member dead, both parties involved have ratified their commitment to the ongoing peace process, saying that such incidents are right the reason why a negotiated end to the armed conflict is rather urgent in order to prevent further victims. As a unilateral ceasefire implemented by the the FARC enters its fifth, its fifth month, social organizations, but especially residents of the rural areas affected by the conflict, have underlined the necessity of a bilateral ceasefire, something that still needs to be agreed on by the Colombian government. Victims' compensation, as well as the technicalities of the end of the conflict itself, have been widely discussed topics during the last rounds of negotiations, but, the still, but will still be the two issues right at the center of this 36th round of peace talks. Now, a joint operation between the Army and the FARC to start clearing landmines, which is something that has already been agreed as the result of these peace negotiations, is also expected to be high at this round of talks, as the demining process is supposed to begin soon in some Colombian territories that have been initially chosen for that purpose. Natalia Margarita, Telesur, Bogota.